All right, people, welcome back. More, well, not really, Death Pro Dual Commentary. So, uh, Rip Death Pro, maybe? I don't know, question mark? Uh, Death Pro has been down for, like, two weeks now. Like, the servers are just not up, and I'm, I'm just wondering if, you know, this is the end of Death Pro. So, we're on YGL Pro right now. Uh, there's not really too much of a rating system that can deserve it. And this is a match, so hopefully we can, you know, get it long enough to come to it on. If not, then we'll just get multiple. I also re-downloaded and updated Salvation, so um, we need to go on there. But I'm going to try to get you guys this series, even though it's not Dead Pro. So I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to change it. You know, it was enough changing from uh, uh, DN Dual Commentary over to this. But uh, it'll still keep Death Pro Dual Commentary despite being on either Wagyu Pro or Salvation or whatever. I mean, they're essentially the same thing. And uh, hopefully we can keep the series going at least until, you know, the channel changes. Because the series will end with the channel changes. Definitely, I can guarantee that. Because I'm not the biggest fan of this series. So the series will end and get replaced by something that's a little bit more enjoyable. And we'll have plenty of time to do commentary over other things with League and um, with, you know, stream highlights if I... If I decide to commentate over what happened in that particular duel, damn, damn. So, <laughs> you see, like some kind of stun deck, that barrier statue stun deck with the moon mirror shield, that, that uh, anti may shit. Uh, versus, looks like Tunes, and I mean, he, he took that quaking, he took that quaking to the knee. <laughs> uh, the mirror forces and quakings and them drownings and shit, they, they're going up in popularity. Yeah. And so people are summoning shit like Chaos Max, you can't even target that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's playing that straight up cancer. He's gonna hit you up with that card demise, pod duality. He's gonna grab himself a fucking... <laughs> what is that, like a dark bribe, a compulse? Like, uh, this man has the straight hatred. Hatred. <laughs> For the meta. Oh, there's that fossil Dina. Damn. <laughs> I heard about this tracker and he's actually talking to me about it. And he was just like, yeah, they have like this fucking meta deck that's just straight up cancer. Just the anti-meta. <laughs> That just just goes out to show you this format. It's it's very it's very pliable that even a little bit of anti meta can bust in and you know and shake things up. So this format's actually pretty decent. You know, I I, I kind of like this format. There's a lot to do. Oh, okay. So he's playing the the Blackstone Legend because you could shoot it off and summon your Toon Red Ice Dragon. It actually works like that. So that's pretty good. It's just Blackstone Legend is hella fucking expensive because it still haven't got that reprint. Like, wow, well, come on, you wanna you wanna reprint that card anytime soon? Like, nah. <laughs> So, now the interesting thing is, uh, how is he going to get around all of this? Because I know there's going to be, like, some mirror forces, possibly, like, a drowning or something, and that's just going to fuck up this man's day, because, you know, that technically counts as attacking directly, you know, yep, clip it with the Phantom Knight sword. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Go up by 800, 2,000 uh, attack, fossil dino, you can't them, but, you know, Toon Kingdom can protect from destruction, which, I mean, that, that, is, that in itself can kind of save his butt. Just I'm not sure if he's planning on special summoning too much. You know, you can keep on attacking that uh that Toon Gemini Alpha 100. You could just keep on milling off the top of his deck. I'm kind of wondering if it, uh Toon Guy's gonna might end up decking out if he doesn't do anything. But he can start getting direct in. But you gotta worry about that drowning mirror force. Yeah, it's like yeah yeah he can go ahead and attack me directly, but uh <laughs> you're gonna get fucked up. <laughs> Oh, the Toon Man Sorcerer. That guy was pricey for a little while. No, you're going to catch this. You're not going to burn him with the tunes. You're just going to catch this solemn warning, boy. <laughs> so, you're just going to hop over him. Yep, go around. And then probably catch a drowning. Or some kind of form of mirror force. Oh, no, no, he got it in. He got it in. That ah, tunes are fucking up the anti meta. That counter yourself. You want to, you know, counter the anti meta. You don't go with meta, or you, you know you can catch the solemn strike because strike is at multiples. Yeah, yeah, but he can just block from destruction. So, like Toon, Toon's just wrecking this man. He's 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 playing all this back row, trying to one up him. But you know you're not really one upping him. You're just kind of taking negs. Like you evened out with the solemn warning, the solemn strike. I mean, you just stopped him from picking a card out of your hand. So why does he care? And all you're doing to him is 100. Like. <laughs> You can't even touch his Toon Monsters, he's just gonna keep on going after you. You need that Johnny Mirror Force, or something to get rid of that Toon Kingdom, but he has another Toon Kingdom, so... Yeah. I believe Gemini Elf is, uh, is one of the OGs, so... It would go. This one's destroyed, too, right? This card attack, you know what I mean? When Toon World and Phil is destroyed, this card is also destroyed, yep, so it's an OG card. Wow, I can hit him for a bit of Lance, okay. That's fine. No, you're gonna hit. 
Oh, they can't be targeted. That's right. Can't be targeted. Ten Kingdom. Let's go. Ah, I was like, I was like, okay, you might the, the damage. It's like, nah, nah, Ten Kingdom. Wow. And tunes are fucking out. This deck is supposed to be straight up anti meta. This deck is supposed to be like the cancer of the fucking format, beating every single meta deck. And it's getting the shit slapped at it by tunes. What? All right. <laughs> So you got anything else, Mr. Antimeta? It's your four thousand attack. False Dinah patches Cephalo with the with the blade. Nope, that's it. That is it. He scoops it up. Alright. Well, if there is a game two uh, and or three, we will get it. Be right back. Alright, people. We are back. Game two. They have to wait a pot. He's gonna grab himself that fossil down, even though that fossil down didn't even do shit last duel. Alright. We just asked him to be Bobby. He said three, activate card of demise. Oh, wow. I'm going to steal more in Calcos. He's like, man, fuck my check. I need that extra 500, boy. I need to make this false diamond invincible. Yep. Could be with the moon mirror shield. Set card of demise? We need that card of demise. Like, you ain't, you ain't playing that card of like, See, that's my, my, one of my big gripes with card of demise. Like, it's so powerful when you get it. But if you don't get it, you're just kind of slow and shitty. You know? Especially against a deck that seems like the majority of shit that you do doesn't even phase him. Like, let's go, Toon. This is probably the first time I've ever cheered for Toons. Like, I mean, you're both just straight up cancer. Like, I've never been a big fan of Toons. They're just kind of like play with myself deck. But hey, if I can beat this fucking guy who just wants to be cancer, you know? If he's gonna beat the chemo to the cancer, then get it done, my boy. <laughs> I mean, he has an extra deck, and I know he has some fours, but he kind of just locked himself out to Silver Kafka, so hopefully it's worth it. I mean, you saw some of the last duel. Getting stronger with attack doesn't really do anything. I think that he kind of just needed some mirror forces, some drownings and shit to handle the situation. Not to say that he wasn't going to be able to get other tune monsters. I mean, he does have his tune table. But uh, all this man has to do is just set up his uh, tune kingdom, which I'm assuming he runs triple of that and maybe two to three terraforming. So we know he runs terraforming, just don't know the ratio, you know. Uh, it might it might have been three terraformings when chicken game, so you had that filler card. But you know sometimes it's like you have that three to three ratio. It really depends on how important the fill spell is, because you could easily dead draw into multiples. Like yeah, I already have my two kingdoms, kingdom, so I don't need more two in kingdom. You know, uh, I feel the same way when I play it with my cosmos. It's like one of the worst things you can do is get multiple cosmo towns. It's not like I can shuffle back cosmo town with cosmo town. That'd be fantastic. And hell yeah, we'd run terraforming and multiple cosmo towns and shit like that. Because I can just shuffle back to cosmo town when I already have my cosmo town. It's not like anybody's gonna really destroy it. So, uh, but it's not it's not that spot base. It's cosmo town. So if I get a cosmo town and I already have one and I get a terraforming, that's a dead draw. You know, that's very worrying. That's one of the reasons why in my card demise variant I only ran two Cosmo Towns. And there's actually a duel where I opened up my two Cosmo Towns, so yeah, that, didn't, that didn't even save me. I was like, let's drop it too, because that was one of the worst things, especially in my demise deck. It was just like fucking draw into multiple Cosmo Towns. Like, what the fuck am I doing? This is bad. This is bad, even with card demise. <laughs> but, um, Mr. Toon Guy, are you gonna, gonna do anything? Like, I'm, I'm kind of wondering what's going on here. The, the, the duel is just frozen. Are you guys still doing it? Hello? <laughs> Any guy is still doing Well, like, it's like, it's like at a standstill. Like, it's the tune guy's turn, right? Like, is he thinking or what? Can you give me like a little hand shuffle to tell me that you're, like, something's still going on? Or am I just looking at a freaking screensaver right now? Like, <laughs> like, Okay, okay, then I guess we're done. See, and the flaws of YGO have reared his ugly face. Be right back. Huh, and that's one of the problems with YGO is that I'm not in rated. I'm just watching matches in unrated. So people can just quit whenever they want with no repercussion or anything. At least with rated, to be like, if you quit, you're gonna you know, have your rating drop. So do you really want to quit? Uh, that's a good question. Well, here it's like, oh, fuck it. You know, I do a match, but I don't feel like doing a whole match. I quit. You know? So gotta see that blue eyes. Gotta see that. <laughs> so of course blue eyes wants to go second, and uh, yo dude, what's up? Oh yo, dude, what's up? He didn't really do anything. So it looks like pure variant. Yeah, looks like pure variant. Get that damage and then sink or summon into spirit. You already know. You know the blue eyes. You know the blue eyes. Instead, I'm kind of just kind of wondering if they ever decide to. I'm wondering if Blue Eyes will need to be hit or be power creep. Oh wow, you didn't go into spirit? I, I would only in the spirit. I would have synchronized them in the spirit. Oh, Cubics. 
Okay. Two. Uh, it's one of the decks that I never got to play. Well, I'm mean, got Vanity's probably one of the few traps. Maybe a Vanity's and a Psalm Strike. There's not too many trap cards that play by Blue Eyes, but you can guess it's Vanity's, boy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Duja, the Mew Cubic. I never got to play with Cubics. So that sucks. It never, it never, it never won. Finally, finally, Tramit's won. That deck never wins, but finally won. Alright, you can send that, uh, that Cubic Karma. Mm hmm. And then I'll get you a search, right? Like, I would love to play this deck and learn it, but I guess when I can play it in daily duels, it'll probably be the series after that, so. Yep, so you can go ahead and steal some of that and practice. Power. That's half. That right, means bench this card from your graveyard to add a cube monster. Uh, I'm kind of wondering, you know that new foolish that sends spells and traps? I'm kind of wondering. Cubics definitely seem like a deck to run that. Send that karma search, you know, that's just so good. Damn. So not only did you get your alternative wrecked, but you lost your vanities too. Like, I thought this duel might have been over. I was like, oh shit, you can't search with somebody sitting down 3,000 meter? I mean, all he had to do was just attack over the freaking uh, White Stone. Yep, I had a reveal, and bam, there is his boss monster. The Crimson Nova. Yep, and I, I knew it, I knew it. I was like, probably Vanity's in a strike. <laughs> that is an inherent summon. Yeah. I mean, you didn't take a negative. You said, not like you pitched all the monsters, you just revealed them and then summoned them, so, and you even out with the strike. But you, 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 uh, you caught so wow. He actually runs Maiden. If I played Blue Eyes, I would not run Maiden. She's just so slow. I don't, ain't nobody got time for her. Like, I'm not, I don't have time to be sitting here passively, you know, waiting for Maiden to get killed or anything along those lines. Like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> this is like the freaking movie right here. I, I, and speaking of the movie, I didn't see the movie yet. <laughs> okay, so he's actually gonna kill the, the White Stone of Ancients. You gonna do anything else? Because he probably will summon Spirit and just banish that set card. And then he can go to some Synchro play. If he plays more than one Spirit. Yeah, he does. He does. They generally play two. Yep, so that can go away during the end phase. You just said it. Oh, it's a Royal Decree, you know. Usually I would say that doesn't do too much against Blue Eyes, but this man did catch a Vanities in a Solemn Strike in this duel, so. And he sets another card. <laughs> like, this Blue Eyes is playing a lot of backgrounds. Probably just more Shone Strike. Like I said, I, I don't think he would play anything outside Warning, Strikes, and the Vanities, so. You know, so you can go ahead and banish, grab back his alternative, and slip some of that alternative. There you know. Like I said, I'm wondering if Blue Eyes will ever get power creeped, or would actually literally be hit. Like, I predict the Nexus will probably be in, in January. In January, the beginning of the year, right before DDDs come out. And... Blue Eyes, I still think, will probably be a top tier deck, and with that, I'm kind of wondering if they're gonna, like, well, but, I mean, yeah, he's still got a new deal, because he's gonna pop them in for some of these two, and then tap, tap, yeah, so that was, that was game, that was game, I was thinking, I was like, well, this can't attack, but, yeah, what, Synchro Summon can't attack, it's not like, it, only this one can't attack, now you can't conduct your battle phase, alright, well, well, they'll side, and we'll go for games two and or three, alright, game two, yeah, like, I didn't say, if anything, I'm not, I'm not, Sure about any direct hits. I mean, Ancient White Stone, like, that's debatable because that's a really strong card. If anything, I probably just do indirect hits. Probably like Melody because that's a one turn, one card alternative because just discard anything. And like, you get that Melody. It's like it's kind of like uh, Twin Twisters or our Pendulum Call. It's just the one card to handle anything because you just discard anything. You know, like, there's a, there's a huge difference with just playing Melody, discarding any card, grabbing those two, and just actually opening up with the alternative blue eyes, so that'd be a fine hand, and of course Gospel, you know, the Return of the Dragon Lights, that card is fucking stupid, like, you get the Revive the Dragon, and you get Protection from Destruction, like, oh, thank you, that, that card exists, <laughs> but it really depends, I'd say probably Melody over, over Return, because Konami is known for hitting the consistency of things, and that would lower the consistency of blue eyes, which is kind of, kind of a big city deck, kind of, I'm never a big fan of Dragon Shrine. I never was. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I, I send the blue eyes or a spirit and I send a stone to the graveyard. Yay, yeah, I negged. Because that's, that, I mean, that's a neg, you know? Yeah. But I guess it's in the same boat as Foolish. If you're going to put Foolish Burial in the blue eyes, that can also play that because you get to potentially send two. But uh, it's debatable. It's debatable what, what you play in your blue eyes deck. So, one of the things that you can play and utilize deck is your Galaxy Soldier, so you can foolish your Galaxy Soldier and like uh, Dragon Shrine, then you know, Soul Target and go into your Infinity Blaze. But yeah, yeah, lower the consistency of the lines by probably hitting this. Because I mean, that's ridiculous. Just one card, one card alternative. Yeah. Gospel's stupid too, but 
you know, maybe they want to sell more of the Felgrind structure deck, and that's one of the key cards in Felgrind structure decks. I mean, what does Melody do for Felgrind? Nothing. And really, it's just a blue eyes card. Really, it's just a blue eyes card. So, I have a question as well, will they hit it to? Maybe, possibly two, then maybe one if it could persist. I, I, I can easily see just him down to two in the next list, and then then the one. The monster summoned by combination can't be destroyed? Yeah, yeah, the monster. Cannot be destroyed by battle by card effects this turn. Wow. Cubics have some pretty good cards. They do, they do. Yeah. Maybe when Daily Duels is over and we actually uh, play uh, a Daniel Duel series, we live stream and play whatever, maybe I'll get a chance to play Cubics. That's, a, that's one of the big problems with uh, with Daily Duels is that our hands are tied. I can't, you know, I can't play whatever I want. I got to play what you guys suggest, and uh, you know we're stuck with whatever we're playing with for a month. So if there's a particular deck that never got on Daily Duels. It just never gets on Daily Duels. You know, so Travis had it difficult for a long time. They they came win and went out of obscurity way quick and way before uh, it ever got on Daily Duels. We'll try it. I said this Friday. Alright. Oh wow, he's actually playing like the Arc Brave and shit like that. So now now the Dragon Shrine is a little looking a little bit stronger, you know. Going a little bit of Arc Brave and stuff like that. You got two stones going off in the end phase. Arc Brave will go off during uh the standby phase. Like it, it's it's gonna, it's gonna go down. Wow, I really can't look at the Like didn't I just look at the graveyard, but I can't look at the banished pile? Huh, okay. Alright, Wajo. I can look at the graveyard, but I can't look at the banished pile. Like okay. It looks like some kind of curries are thrown in there, so. Oh. Maybe he doesn't have any more targets with Spirit? Potentially. Okay, yeah, there's, there's a potential that he just doesn't have any more targets for Spirit, because uh, he had two Spirits. Yep. This card must first be Special Summon, not it can only be Special Summon. So. This would be a great time for like maybe like an Exiton Knight. Just summon going to Exiton Knight. Oh wow, uh, he's like, no, you catching the Smack C boy. Like, alright. So you don't even know what he's gonna do. You just wanna make sure that whatever he does, you're gonna get that guaranteed draw, cause you kinda need it. I mean, go ahead and search for your boss monster, yep. Yeah. So I definitely think that uh, that new foolish would definitely be great in uh cubics. Feel and special summon your boss monster. So I know this guy does some crazy shit if I remember correctly. Iron Tax Royale, this card makes second attack during a battle phase, yep. And then the phase you can make you can make each player take three thousand, three K. And the future monster I believe is like near invincible too. Yep, so everybody gets boosted up, you can run the, run run a train on their ass. That's a way to handle this situation, yep, making second attack, run over the alternative, yep. Can't handle spirit though. The monster something to your grave ride. This turn while you control the little card you can't. It's got a game two and attack rate each monster with a different name. The grave ride until the end of the turn. Well, he really doesn't have any, he just has a whole bunch of this one. <laughs> Dude, what's up? Like, you scooped, why? Why'd you scoop, dude? I guess he thought maybe he had a comeback? I don't know, maybe he disconnected. Them plays, they seem pretty strong. I mean, you're both gonna take 3,000 during the end phase, but, I mean, I, there was potential there. He was gonna have his spirit and two strong and three cards. He might have been able to come back, it depends, but, wow, like, that sucks, see? So it's shit like that, why well, YGL Pro is not the same, so. I don't know. I'm not sure if I have to do it by myself. Probably whoever tags with me can join me, possibly. But it, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot more difficult than watch for Dead Pro. And it's probably gonna be a lot more quitting. But Dead Pro, don't die on me. Not yet. You can die after you know I stop this series. So uh, the person who's gonna join me for uh, daily duels, he wasn't able. Well, he was, but it was, I was thinking about doing a salvation, and I went against it and just did it on YGL. But everybody should have access to YGL at this point. They really should. So we're done here. So I hope that you guys enjoy. I said, it's just me. I can come and take by myself. And so the series will be ending as soon as Daily Duels ends. And, you know, we'll, you'll get plenty of commentary. I mean, League, come on. League, League is, like, pretty much the same thing. So 
Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys uh, hopefully Thursday. Hopefully on Death Pro. I doubt it. Server's still down. If not, then we'll just do some more YGL. All right, people. Thanks for watching.